Week 2 in MLS certainly had its ups and downs. In Columbus, Toronto played their second straight road game to start the season. Both Fry and Cronin started the game, but Fry wouldn't finish it. A uh, Columbus player uh, took a shot from outside the box and it was going for the right side. Uh, hit the post, but I still dove for it and um, hit the, gra the ground hard and uh, bounced off. I don't know if there was something underneath it or something, but it was unexpected. It was really hard and I bounced off and kind of hurt my hip a little bit. I tried to play through it uh, until the half and hopefully we could maybe do something about it at half and then I could, you know, continue to play. But uh, I just it got harder and harder as it went on. And by halftime, I could barely like walk around anymore. After the high of scoring in his MLS debut, Chris Pontius' finishing let him down in Week 2, and DC had to settle for a tie at home. Moreno leaves it for Namoff. Namoff on the overlapping. There's Pontius, and he puts it up and over. Pontius was wide open. I think we all uh, feel comfortable on the field, and you know we're looking, you know, to, to help this team out. We need to get some wins now. I mean, ties are you know at the end of the world, but. Um, you know, we can't, we've given up two, uh, two leads now, and that's uh, four points down the drain, basically. Um, so, you know, us rookies are just, you know, we're looking to fight. We're not looking to do too much in games, you know, just keep things consistent. You know, there's, there's pressure on me. You know, i got to perform um, game in and game out. So, um, you know, the pressure is good because, you know, it's just going to make me better. But, um, yeah, there's no, there's no room for error right now. In Seattle, Steve Zaquani saw his first start lead to his first career assist. Near side, Zakawani along the box. One on one of Beltran. Nice cross. Try to stab it across. Jake will redirects with the left foot and a go. Sounders go. Zakawani sets up Jaqua. The goal coming in the 17th minute of the match. Kevin, we talked about it since the beginning of the match. Get the ball wide. Get it to Zakawani's feet. Once again, he takes it on to Beltran. It was great to play in front of 30,000 people and stuff. And so when I got on that field, it was just pure adrenaline. An exciting game. Uh, managed to play 60 minutes, you know, and came for Freddie Lundberg. But while I was on the pitch, it was just a case of blocking everything out and focusing on the game. And I think overall it went well. Couldn't ask for much more, you know. Was able to get an assist on Nate's goal and stuff, and so couldn't complain. It was great. Gene Alexander made a late appearance for his first minutes as a pro, but with only three minutes on the field, there was little time to make an impact. I mean, um, it's, it's real difficult, you know, coming in at three minutes left into the game. And and um, when I got in, I just wanted to, you know, give the team a breath of energy. But, I mean, unfortunately, the time wasn't enough. Growing up as a kid, I always wanted to play professional. And until last the last three minutes I got, I could never really say that I've done that. And after playing those three minutes, then I can finally say, you know, I'm a pro. I, I, I played my first professional game. After the game, it was back to rookie life as Alexander helped pack the team's equipment onto the bus. For Richard Jada, week two in MLS was spent in Charleston, finishing out his trial with the battery, hoping to show enough to get a contract offer. This year could go one of two ways. I could play on a USL team, which probably is my only, my only option is the battery, and um, or I could take time off get on a PDL team or play indoor but for the time being until the new season starts. Well, hopefully I can play here, do well, and become an impact, become a starter, and you know the fire or maybe even another MLS team will see that the potential that you know I that I have in me and, and how well I'm doing and uh, give me another chance. next time on Rookie Life. Early season impact continues.